What's good, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm bringing you all another MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty video. And in this video, we are doing a pack opening video. Almost 100 packs saved up for this video. Keeping a little basic today. No new content today in Diamond Dynasty. So I thought we'd do a pack opening video. Haven't done one in a few weeks. We got some regular base packs, some ball and his habit packs, some all-star game packs, some space packs, and some headliner packs to open for you all today. So in the comments down below, make your prediction. How many diamonds will I be pulling in this? video but if you're excited for this one do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you're new i would greatly appreciate it but without further ado i hope you all enjoy the video and let's get it minica watch me on twitch oh i'm streaming i'm on youtube subscribe to the channel red button beaming let's get that sub count take over youtube oh we teaming my content so high oh yeah i'm steaming oh yeah i'm steaming red button beaming Okay, everyone, I am back on MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty, and today we're doing a chill video, chilling on MLB The Show 21, opening some packs. I have about 100 packs stored up. We got some standard packs, some ball and as a habits. We got 20 headliner packs, and then we have some all-star game packs. We have two of those, and a couple space one, space two packs. Nothing really crazy today. Just going to be chilling, talking to you guys about the future of MLB The Show 21, content coming out, talking about if you're still playing the games while I open some packs, maybe we pull some diamonds we will see i hope to pull at least two diamonds in this pack opening video because it is the end of the year though guys like mike trout which are the highest live series cards to get in this game don't even sell for that many stubs at this point but packs are always fun let's get into it gonna be ripping these standard packs pretty pretty quickly as my dustin may sell which is really nice the one i got yesterday for pennant race because i am a world series player for the most part so i was immediately placed in championship series division so i'll take a free 40k stubs that's really awesome we're probably gonna be quick flipping for the most part in these standard packs just gonna be breezing through but let me know in the comments down below are you still open a lot of packs in this game are you playing mlb the show 21 a lot but are you playing other games that are not mlb the show like madden nhl call of duty i know the new call of duty is coming out soon probably gonna be picking that up the new battlefield let me know in the comments down below what other games you guys are into apex legends uh fortnite is still pretty big at this point not as good as it once was but it is still a very good game i know a lot of people still do play it besides mlb I've been playing NHL. I've been playing Madden, trying to get into Apex Legends as well. The content's coming to an end this year. We have a couple inning programs left as we finally get a gold, and I think like our 10th pack. The content, though, is coming to an end. We are going to get Team Affinity Season 5 very, very soon, but we only have a few inning programs to go. I think last year, they did like 11 inning programs, but the content for the year is coming to an end very, very soon for the most part. The majority of the content with the last player of the month program already ending in September. Maybe we get a player of the month collection with all the lightning cards that would be nice team affinity season five is going to be coming in a few weeks but after that we might have a couple more inning programs 12th inning program 11th inning program not sure exactly where they stopped last year i forgot i was not an mlb the show player last year but i heard that they stopped either the 11th or 12th inning program but other than that we have the world series program coming at the end of this week which i will be covering here on the channel but other than that team affinity inning programs that we have left and the world series program the content is coming to end for MLB The Show. So the MLB The Show content on the channel might start to become dry. Gonna be trying to, you know, make it very unique for you guys. Make it still entertaining, even with new cards not coming out at some point in the year. But let me know in the comments. Like I said, this is my first year playing MLB The Show, so I have to do some research. Do they still drop, like, other cards, like award cards, signature series, daily moments, even after the season's over in December, in January? Let me know in the comments down below, because I'll still bring you all that content when it does drop. But I'll try to do some team builds for online. Try to think of some other ideas like my $30 in Diamond Dynasty team that I made that Coogs really liked and Coogs did a video on that. That was probably the biggest W of my content creation career so far to this point was Coogs doing that video. That was really, really cool. But other than that, I'm going to try to think of some other ideas like that that nobody's done before, which would be really unique and fun for the channel. As we still have no diamonds in this pack opening, we are 30 packs down with these standard packs and have not pulled one diamond yet. We got a Chris pack. We've got a few golds. We got some diamond equipment, but give us a diamond here even if it's not going to be a big diamond like trout and like i said already he's not going for that many stubs on the market anymore as it is because that's what's going to happen towards the end of the year but once we get mlb the show 22 i will be doing more pack openings for you all let me know if you want to see more pack openings on the channel my first mlb the show 21 video was actually a pack opening video so i'll make that probably a tradition every single year and make my first video of the new mlb a pack opening video hopefully get some good cards to start off mlb the show 22 can't wait for the content to start from scratch once again everybody building their 
team up from common players all the way up to 99 overalls because at this point in MLB The Show 21, everyone pretty much has a 99 overall team because there's just so many free options you get. So there's no reason why you wouldn't have a 99 team at this point unless you're starting late. If you're starting late, there are so many good free options. I have videos all over the channel. That way you can build your team from scratch right now and get yourself a great team at this point in the year. But I've had a ton of fun with MLB The Show 21. I hope to have the same fun with MLB The Show 22. I hope they do get more legends though. I saw on Twitter for the most part, the same cards get released every year. So I feel like that could get a little repetitive for my first year. Everything was new to me, but going forward, hopefully they get some more rights for some new legends in the game. That way we get some new cards next year. That would be really, really fun. As we have 10 standard packs left and not one diamond yet. They say one in 50 of these standard packs, you're supposed to get a diamond. They should definitely be juicing the odds of these packs at this point in the year for people that are still playing, but we have not got one diamond in almost 60 packs so far. Before we move on to the ball and is a gold, because you know on this channel, we call them ball and is a gold packs, not ball and is a habit. We don't pull any diamonds in ball and is a habit pack. Another silver, we have four more standard packs to go and not one diamond. That is crazy. We did get a few golds, but what are golds really gonna do? I mean, I'll take the quick sell stubs, still trying to save up for like new World Series guy, the new Oral Hershire that just came out. Hopefully get a debut for you all. He's gonna be going for a million stubs as soon as he comes out hopefully i can make world series division but i haven't been playing ranked enough really to get him as fast as i would like to and in 64 standard packs we don't get one diamond that is crazy now let's get into the ball and as a habit pack now i expect to at least get one diamond and these ball and is a gold pack before we move on to the headliner packs and still nothing we get two goals but obviously we're guaranteed a gold in my opinion at this point in the year these packs should be guaranteed a diamond player these ball and as a habit packs i don't know why they are not because live series cards are not going for that much right now as it is and we get no diamonds in the ball as a habit packs but yeah the live series cards are not going for much on the market at all so you should be guaranteed a diamond in these ball as a habit packs but like i showed you earlier they are ball and is a gold packs now it's time to get into the headliner packs decent odds on these i think it's one in five can we check one in ten for a diamond player item and we have 20 headliner packs to go set three a tim salmon headliner pack can we get a diamond please no diamonds in this pack opening let me know in the comments down below do you think we're going to be pulling a diamond or do you think we are not going to get one diamond in this entire pack opening video we will get guaranteed diamonds in the space pack and in the all-star game pack but we're not going to count that because that's a little bit of cheating because you're guaranteed a diamond so we don't count that we want to get these in the headliner packs the bowling habits and the standard packs but none so far as we have the dan please sack headliner pack now another gold jordan romano okay nothing even exciting to get so far in this pack opening two silvers man let's go open one of the newer headliner sets we got kerry wood he's probably going for a decent amount of stubs can we pull him oh we got a diamond finally our first diamond of the video and we're opening up right now can we get kerry wood is that josh hater i think that's josh hater i see the flow at least we got a diamond but i think it's josh hater who is it? It is Josh Hader. I saw the flow. How much is he going for? I'm sure he's going for 5,000. Yeah, 5,000 quick sell. But hey, we get a diamond. I will definitely take that. Our first diamond of the pack opening video. Can we get a second in these headliner packs? That would be amazing. And then we go on to the all-star game pack. Because I'm hoping to pull 99 Vladimir Guerrero Jr. We get another diamond. I don't know which headliner set this is. But let's go who we get. Purple light. So nothing that exciting. Who is this? I have no idea who the headliner is for this pack. And what do we got? Brandon Crawford. Okay. Listen, we get two diamonds back to back. Basically, few packs in between. But really, really quick. And we got no diamonds in the pack opening. I will definitely take that. So we have nine headliner packs to go. And then we go into the all-star game pack. And we go into the space packs. I really hope to pull 99 Vlad, though, like I said. Because I want those stubs to be getting all the new cards that come out that are super, super expensive. Like the new 99 Oral Hershire. Want to get him. Want to get Lou Gehrig. Still don't have him on the team. Want to get Ver. Verlander. I tried Verlander out when I made World Series. He was so, so good. My favorite pitcher in the game, but I haven't had the stubs because I'm saving up stubs for Team Affinity Season 5 for those exchanges. So I had to sell Verlander. I had to sell all the new guys that I got that are going for a lot of stubs, but I want to pick them back up for my God Squad because Justin Verlander is a must-have for your team right now. I need to go pick him up, but I'm saving up, like I said, for the Team Affinity Season 5 exchanges because I got to get you guys all the new content for the TA5 cards that will be coming out on November 19th. So I 
few weeks away and we're getting Team Affinity Season 5. New cards to the game. Probably the last big content drop of the year, but it's going to be super, super fun. A lot of new cards. I'll be ranking all of them. Try to get you debuts for all the new cards that come out. The ones that are really, really good. TA5 should be the finest collection. So what I actually might start doing is getting some of those cheap finest cards just in case you need some of them for exchanges or collections to get some of those great Team Affinity Season 5 cards because nothing's confirmed yet. It should be the finest collection. I think it's going to be TA5, but nothing is confirmed as of yet. So we have a Space 1 pack and we get the base round. So nothing crazy here. Do I have all these guys? I do. I don't know who goes for the most because I have a sell now price. But whatever, I guess. I'll probably just quick sell the Jansen. Yeah, so I'll quick sell him. I'll take the stubs for that. So we have 5,000 extra stubs. Now we have a space two pack. The 91s, the 90 Alley Rutschman. This one, can we get the rare round? We do not. I'll go for the veteran one. Maybe that goes for a little bit more stubs. I honestly have no idea. No, so he goes for 5,000 as well. So free 12K from those two packs. We'll take it. And the final two packs of the pack opening last pack opening we did pull a vlad jr can we do it again for 130k stubs no we get xander bogarts and liam Hendricks, so they're gonna get quick sold and we have one more to go here we go can we get vlad can we get freddie peralta i'll even take Riamuto or lance lynn here we go no we get liam Hendricks and xander bogarts again so no big pulls in this pack opening video but what are you gonna do we pulled two diamonds just a fun chill little video for you all i hope you enjoyed it okay everyone that's gonna do it for the video just a fun quick little video quick little pack opening for you all almost 100 packs we did get two diamonds which was pretty nice no luck in the rare rounds of the all-star game packs unfortunately though we are coming to the end of the year of diamond dynasty so there's not new content coming out every single day so i'm gonna try to get you guys new video ideas when i can but sometimes we gotta keep it basic like we did today with a pack opening opening video but if you enjoyed it do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you were new i would greatly appreciate it. i will have a second video coming out later today talking end game cards in diamond dynasty right now so make sure to look out for that one if you would like to you can follow me at my social links which are on the screen for you all right now including my twitter tiktok instagram twitch stuff like that but that's gonna do it for me today everyone i'll see you on the next video have a great rest of your day peace out